Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Learn Math with Sir Mark and on this video, ang um, topic ko is yung lesson ko kaninang umaga which is about radical equation. Okay, so the problem goes like this. If cube root of x plus 7 minus cube root of x plus 3 equals 2, find the square of the sum of x and 5. Alright, now by looking at the problem, so notice natin, okay, Yung inahanap natin na x plus 5 is related to the given x plus 7 and x plus 3. Right? So, for para mas madali makita, so what we're going to do, so we can let x plus 5 as uh, variable. Right? So, meaning to say, uh, yung given natin na cube root of x plus 7, we can rewrite it as cube root of m plus 2. Right? Okay? Then, Yung second term natin, that will be cube root of m minus 2 equals 2. Right? Okay, mas simple na siya tingnan ngayon compared dun sa original na given. Now, so, in order to solve for m, by the way, ano bang kailangan natin? What we are looking is x plus 5 to be squared, or in short, we are looking for the value of m squared. Okay, yan ang kailangan natin. Okay, right? So, anong gagawin natin? So, we have to cube both sides. Okay, cube ko yan. Okay, cube ko to. Then, expand natin. But, again, recall natin, paano ba mag-cube ng binomial? So, we have to recall natin. Na? So, recall natin that yung x minus y cube, that's equal to the cube of the first term plus the product of 3 and x squared and y or in short that will be minus 3x squared y plus 3 times the product of x and the square of y right or that is x y squared and lastly for the last term so that is the cube of the last term and that is negative uh, minus y cube there you go there you go so, meaning to say, if we're going to apply it here, so yung first term ko, to cube ko yan, so that will be m plus 2. Alright? Okay. I'm done with this. Next. How about yung negative 3x squared y? So, that means, uh, that means, minus 3 times the cube root of the square of this one, of the first term, which is, uh, m plus 2 squared times y which is the cube root of m minus 2 can you follow plus doing this one 3 times cube root of m plus 2 times cube root of the square of y and by y ko again cube root of m minus 2 so that will be m minus 2 squared minus cube of this one minus m minus 2 that's equal to 2 cube. Okay, 2 cube. So that will be 8. There you go. And now, uh, huh, medyo maba, pero may makakancel dyan. Alright, so by looking at it, ma-eliminate natin yung positive m and negative m. And we have 2 here. We have another 2 here kasi negative-negative. So combine ko siya with 8. Alright, so that will be uh, 8 minus 4. So that will be equal to 4. So meaning to say, we're going to have negative, copy ko lang, cube root of m plus 2 squared times cube root of m minus 2 plus 3 times cube root of m plus 2 cube root of m minus 2 squared equals 4. There you go. Now, obvious, uh, by observing the on this one, you can see here, mapa-factor natin, no? We can factor out negative 3, cube root of m plus 2, times cube root of m minus 2. Tama? Pag factor out mo yan, what will be left here is that cube root of m plus 2, okay? Positive 3 yan. Pag factor out mo negative 3, magiging negative 1 yan. Okay? And then, cube root of m minus 2. Okay? Equals 4. Okay, now, again, tingnan natin to, no? Tingnan, tingnan to, guys. Note that ang given natin is that yung cube root of x plus 7 minus cube root of x plus 3 
that's equal to 2. Or simply, cube root of m plus 2 minus cube root of m minus 2 equals 2. So, meaning to say, this thing here is just equal to 2. Right? Magiging 2 yan. So, meaning, that will be, uh, that will be negative 6. Okay? Cube root of, uh, okay? m plus 2 times cube root of m minus 2 equals 4. Okay, so simplifying it, so we're going to have negative 2 thirds to the left side. Now, this one here can be, okay, uh, you can multiply, alright? So that will be uh, m plus 2 times m minus 2. There you go. Alright, now, so now look at the radicand. So it's the product of sum and difference of two terms. So therefore, ang result niyan is difference of two squares. There you go. We're almost done. Take note, anong goal natin? Okay, ang goal natin, makuha natin yung value ng m squared. So, therefore, the next step that we're going to do here is that we're just going to cube both sides. Alright? Iku-cube ko yan. So that means m squared minus 4 equals negative 8 over 27. And lastly, m squared equals negative 8 over 27 plus 4. Right. So, what is negative 8 over 27 plus 4? That will be uh, 100 over 27. Therefore, ang final answer natin, ang x plus 5 to be squared, that's equal to 100 over 27. Okay?